In today's video, I want to introduce you to the concept of human in the loop and how to use it in NetN. This feature is super useful if you want to temporarily stop an execution and want the AI to ask you for permission or for approval before it continues finishing its workflow. So let me show you how to use the human in the loop node and what settings there are you can use for your own benefit. So let's dive in. First, the agent is super simple. I will focus more on the uh, human in the loop node. So I just created a that joke AI agent, which I pinned in here. So takes a query, cats versus dogs, and the prompt is super simple, just returns a stupid little that joke. So then if you open new nodes, you have here the option human in the loop in here. You have multiple options or applications to use this where you want to get notified that there is a step that requires your approvement. For the sake of this video, I will use Gmail and will show you the settings you can use in this node. So first, you have to set up your Gmail off, then message. As you can see, the default is send and wait for response. That's fine. Then provide an email you want the um, approval request will be sent to. So for that, I will use AI agent guy at Gmail. Next subject, uh, type in whatever you want. Waiting for approval message and drag in the output from the previous note. So next here in the response type, you have a couple of options. Approval, so you will get basically a button to approve yes or no. Then you could select free text, so basically you can type anything in and then process it in the next steps or even custom form. So let's select approval, then in approval, you can approve only, so it basically just gives you the option to only approve it or approve and disapprove. So we will select approve and disapprove, then you will here have the options to customize the buttons, but I will leave it as is. So the primary is approve, uh, the secondary is decline. And you could also set up the interval of the waiting time. So it waits on default 45 minutes, you could even change it to days and hours, but I will keep it as default. And then we will test the step so I can show you what it looks like. Now, as you can see, it waits till we respond in Gmail. Now let me open my Gmail account. And as you can see, we get our output, which is a not so funny dead joke. And here you can approve or decline. Let's approve. Then there's another pop up, which you can just close and head back to our workflow. So in our workflow, we got now approved true. So it would wait um, up to the 45 minutes before it uh, would stop the workflow. But now it gives you time to actually respond to the, in this case, the dead joke. So this is the feature you can include in your workflows where you want this middle step, where you want to actually first check the output um, and then approve it so the um, agent can continue on that. So now after approving this, we can now decide in our workflow um, what should happen after approval or decline, right? So for that, let's get a if node, attach the if node. So in here, change it to a boolean. And then it's true. So change this to expression and drag in your approval from your Gmail node. Now let's test the whole workflow. Head back to my Gmail account. Again, let me approve. And back in our workflow, we got now the output true. As you can see, now it would continue. Now you have the option to fork your workflow into two directions. If if it's true, continue with whatever your holistic workflow would look like. And if it's false, it would stop or you could fetch another workflow where it does an alternative in case you disapprove, right? So I want to keep this simple, just how to use it, what settings there are in this Gmail node. As you can see, there are different options like Slack, Telegram or Discord, which you can also use. So I will build on this concept of human in the loop and the human approval part in my next video. So subscribe to my channel if you didn't subscribe so far and then see you next time.